Hey guys, I'm Igor from Noblex Tech and we have an awesome scooter here today. It's Varla Eagle One. Let's check it out. <laughs> In this video we will go through all you need to know about it, including top speed, specs, features and so on. So now take a comfortable position in front of your screen, grab a drink and let me show you what this bad boy is capable of. Oh yeah! Here's the manual, multi-tool, nut caps charger and one more extra they have included several grip tapes oh yeah there is no stem wobble there was a spare inner tube in the box that's a really nice addition looks like Farla have a really good customer service because they include this paper on looks like on every scooter with uh, support emails let's tighten all the components so everything is unboxed we checked every screw on the scooter and everything looks really good one thing i'm concerned about is this brake line because it touches the front swing arm the varla eagle one comes with uh, those road tires it's uh, 10.2 inches uh, personally I don't like them because uh, I don't feel they provide decent enough traction and we asked Varla to ship us some off-road tires so the first thing we're going to do today we're going to change the tires to those off-road ones because we will go off-road today and do some crazy stuff we're going to show you what the scooter can do and uh, let's get started <laughs> That's it, it took us 30 minutes to change the tires. Now we have those off-road tires on. And uh, the last thing, before you go out for a ride, the scooter comes with a speed limiter. If you hit the throttle, it shows you 15 miles per hour. Here's a simple trick how to remove the speed limit. You go to P8 and uh, you go all the way up to 100. This is the output power and now you press those two buttons together to save the settings. Let's check it now. Oh yeah! We reviewed the best and most exciting electric vehicles on the market and if you're watching this video right now, we want to help you to make a rational decision with your purchase. So if you want to see more videos like this, support our channel by smashing the like and subscribe button. Hey, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> this scooter comes with two charging ports, one and two. And actually what's good is that they give you two chargers for free in the box. This means that you can charge it in five hours. Uh, that's a really nice addition. The chargers are usually about 50 bucks each and they give it for free. This is a nice one. What we didn't expect, and actually this is really disappointing, the scooter doesn't have any headlight. You only have the deck light here the white light and uh, the tail light. It's red and uh, you have the brake lights, proper brake, brake lights and there is no turn lights. So if you're looking to buy this scooter you will definitely need an aftermarket headlight because if you're planning to ride in night conditions, in dark conditions, you, you cannot ride without it. This is a must have. I really like the kickstand on this scooter. It's really small, it's minimalistic. Uh, I hate those kickstands that are here. Those are like bulky, big ones. You can scratch your leg and things like that. This one is really, really comfortable, a good one, good kickstand, really durable, really easy to use. If you look at the scooter, it's not small and uh, considering that the deck space is massive here. You can easily use the footrest as well, it's really comfortable. Everything is perfect regarding the 
ride quality. So if you're a big guy, you will, you will love this scooter. I mean, if you're looking for a comfortable scooter, you should definitely consider a larger, wider deck. Let's take a look what we have on the handlebars. We have really comfortable rubber handle grips. Those are the best ones that I've ever had. We have zoom brakes here, hydraulic zoom brakes. Uh, super good brakes, love those. As you know, those are way better than those cheap basic cable brakes. The stopping power is absolutely amazing. Uh, we have the horn, really simple one, but that's enough. Uh, double drive buttons single dual turbo eco we have the voltmeter and throttle controller with a display battery here is 52 volt 18.2 amp hours which we believe is pretty average in terms of size nevertheless we tested the scooter in mixed conditions and we easily managed to get 25 miles of range Luckily, we didn't have to do the minimum range test because the RK9 Rise channel tested it on full speed and got 15.8 miles of range on the max settings going as fast as possible. As a comparison, the NAND Robot D6 Plus with 26 amp hour battery can easily get 20 miles on the same settings. We actually really love the acceleration on the scooter, it's super torquey. The scooter has 1000 watt dual motors, which provides a really fast and smooth acceleration. The scooter itself feels very agile and lightweight. That's probably due to the fact that it has super comfortable deck and great suspension. It weighs 77 pounds or 34 kilograms. Honestly, that's probably one of the most comfortable scooters we have ever ridden. So now we will show you how portable this scooter is and uh, let's start with this folding mechanism. It's actually reinforced uh, latch. It's really strong. You have those two latches and uh, once the latches are in this position, the stem becomes really solid. There is no wobble. We are super happy with how stable the folding mechanism is. That's really impressive. So let's fold the scooter. Pull the latch up, just like this. Unfortunately, you cannot latch the stem to the deck. There is no way to latch it. So the only way to carry your scooter is by using this part and your footrest. We have this regular sedan and uh, here's how we transport it. It's not very easy to put it in. I guess you would need a bigger car for that, but uh, it takes a little bit of effort and uh, you have to know how to put it in. The scooter handles off-road like a champ. Suspension can be adjusted, but you will need a special tool for that. It comes with a very soft suspension. It's perfect for off-roading. It makes your rides feel like you're riding in clouds. If you want the scooter to feel sporty, you can easily make the suspension stiffer. We wanted to stress test the scooter suspension. We were looking for the worst road conditions we can find. The scooter felt quite good on this paving road going over 20 miles per hour. I guess it passed the suspension test with ease. We know what's important for many of you, it's top speed. The advertised speed here is 40 miles per hour. We confirmed that this could be achieved in perfect road conditions with a pretty lightweight rider, around 160 to 170 pounds. 
I'm 185 pounds and I was able to reach the top speed of 37 miles or 60 kilometers per hour. I had a bulky winter jacket on. I feel like the scooter could have easily reached 38 to 39 miles per hour if I was wearing a t-shirt for example. Holy smokes! Whoa. Let's sum it up, the scooter is not super fast, but it's quick enough to give you that adrenaline rush. And what's most important, it's fast enough for any kind of commute or off-road riding. Who is it for you might ask? I believe different type of riders will enjoy this scooter. No matter if you want to ride it on asphalt or off-road, the scooter feels really good on every type of terrain. Basically, it's for those who want to commute in mixed conditions. Second, if you want plenty of range, I'd say it's not for you. If your daily commute is around 15 to 20 miles, Varla Eagle 1 is exactly what you need. Third, the scooter is very easy to customize. There are lots of different accessories available. Fourth, it's for people who want a full package of all essential features and also the great customer support. Let's sum it up. We actually love this scooter. It's crazy fast, it has all the essential features, the build quality is great. The customer service of Varla, they seem to be pretty friendly as well. Thanks for watching everyone, we hope you enjoyed our Varla Eagle One review. Make sure you subscribe so you can check out all our new videos. See you next time. <laughs>